Hi, I'm Brother Bill Short. I'm a professor of Christian spirituality here at FST. My favorite book is actually a poem. It's a book-length poem called Une Petite Cosmographie Portative. It's by a thoroughly wacky French poet uh, named Kennel, and it is a celebration of everything in the universe in rhyming Alexandrine French poetry. A small portable cosmogony is what it's called. So my, my hobby, I think I would have to say my passion, is growing, collecting, and propagating California native plants. One of the prettiest ones, and which we actually have growing in some big containers out in front of the school, is ca called Trichostoma lanata, or better name, which I like, Woolly Blue Curls. I was a student at FST at our former location at the Graduate Theological Union in Berkeley in 1973 to 1976, a long time ago. I did my MA there, and then I thought I was going to go into more of a social justice ministry. I was working with Cesar Chavez and the United Farm Workers Union at that point, and I thought my future was really going to be kind of in labor organizing. And instead, I, I was asked uh, to get an advanced degree in theology. I finished my MA in, at FST in Berkeley, and then I was sent away to do a licentiate, which is kind of a glorified MA and a doctorate in Rome. And then I was asked to come and teach at FST, and I've been here since 1983. When I see students read one of these texts from the first hundred years of Christianity, uh, or the second or third century, and they're, they're frankly amazed, and they go, these people were interested in some of the same things that we're interested in. You know, how do we pray together? How do we get a community organized? Uh, who's getting treated better? Who's getting treated worse? Issues of equity, inclusion. They are, they're delighted. And when I see that delight, that spark of, wow, I learned something new, it, that makes my life as a teacher worthwhile. I'm thinking back when I was a student, what advice would I want I think the best advice would be don't study theology in order to advance yourself. Don't do it just because you could get a job or a ministry placement out of it. That, I mean, that's an important consideration. But I think what's really going to get you through the times when the exams are coming, when you have that paper to write, when you have lots of other duties, you're feeling kind of the crunch and you're saying, why did I ever agree to get into this program? That's when you realize you're doing it for the love of learning, that there is something beautiful about learning itself, whether it results in getting a big paycheck or not. It is a worthwhile thing to do because you grow in wisdom. Thanks so much for taking a few minutes to visit with me. I hope that someday I'll see you around campus here at FST.